Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina, and if you are new here, here on my channel I do bookish related things and I also do beauty. So if that sounds like something you'd like to be a part of, I see, please subscribe here to my YouTube channel. And if you do like this video by the end of it, I see, please give this video a thumbs up. So yeah, today I'm so excited because I got my first ever bookish box. Um, yeah, I decided to hop on the subscription train and get a fun subscription bookish box and the box that I decided to go and subscribe to was the Owl Cray. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to subscribe to a book subscription since I started booktube and I never got a chance to. I was just always so nervous to get a book subscription because I was nervous that I wouldn't like the stuff that was in it but I feel like Either way, no matter what subscription you decide to jump into, whether it be with books or any subscription in general, there's always going to be something that you're not going to like in the subscription box, and that's just that's just how it is. So I decided to stop being so scared and decided to go ahead and do the thing, and I'm so excited. I bought this. I'm paying for the monthly uh, subscription. Alcrate did not send this to me at all whatsoever. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pop this open. I haven't even opened it. I literally just got it like 30 minutes ago in the mail. So I'm going to pop it open and we're going to jump into the things that I got. And I'm so freaking excited, you guys. You have no idea. I've been wanting to do this for so long and I'm so glad I finally just, I just did it. So yeah, we're going to go and jump into it. Alright, so we're busting it on open and I don't want to try and spoil myself at all for it, but this is what it looks like. You guys know the drill. I'm not the only one that gets these book box subscriptions. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me go ahead and get this. I think this is like the spoiler card. Um, this is Owl Crate, um, Ruthless Rivals. So that's uh, April. Yeah, definitely April theme. Um, has like the little spoiler on the back. I'm not, I didn't look at anything. I just looked at the title. So um, this is ruthless rivals so yeah this is gorgeous already i like the print oh my gosh i'm so freaking excited you guys have no idea i feel like a kid in a candy store um yeah let's talk about these this uh artwork the picture there's definitely like two gorgeous women on the front they are holding a knife behind them which is that's a little sus you know like uh they're enemies but are gonna partner up together that's what it looks like but also making sure they uh they don't have their guard down so i love that i just that is really pretty that is that's going on the shelf for um you know some decor because you you see my shelves are a little bit empty we're gonna keep the spoiler card um close so we have all these little papers that i don't really care for but whatever the first thing we're pulling out is a fable ground coffee this is spectacular cinnamon alcrate hazelnut exclusive oh my gosh we got some little coffee oh. i don't know if you guys know this but i am a big fan of coffee and it's cinnamon hazelnut i love hazelnut coffee hazelnut coffee is like my favorite coffee to drink just it, to have here in the house um so yeah, I can't wait to try this out. Um, I think what I'll do towards the end is uh, talk about where each items come from so I don't spoil myself at all by accident by looking at the card. So yeah, I know this is what the copy looks like. It's so cute. I want to open it to smell it, but yeah, we're not going to do that. <laughs> the next thing I'm pulling out feels like a box, like a small little box. And this is what it looks like. This is... Uh, at Centra, Centra by Alcrate. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's a card game. Okay. So it's a little card game. Let's All right. So I'm currently trying to edit my Alcrate unboxing video, and I noticed that I said the card game completely wrong. Yeah, I'm a bit embarrassed, but it's happened before. It's called Etc. Not in Centra, whatever I was trying to say. So yeah, I just wanted to clarify that it's etc the reason why i said it wrong was because the way it was spelled um i think that has a lot to do with like maybe dyslexia that i have i don't know um but yeah i just wanted to hop on and let you guys know that um sometimes i say things wrong and <laughs> i can't apologize for it so yeah it's etc let's see what it looks like so this is what it looks like i guess you write whatever 
on here um, it says write in your own write in your own list idea here okay so whatever category the cards have you have to answer five questions before the timer runs out is what it sounds like the game is about so yeah so that's exciting I love a good card game the next thing I'm pulling out feels like this is what it is it says the stars incline us they do not bind us and then the other side, I'm guessing, is like in another language. Yeah, so I don't know where this is exactly from, but it's really cool. It's almost like a pencil box. The, um, it's plastic. It looks like a pencil box. Um, oh, it's straws. Oh, my gosh. Wait, is it straws? Wait, no, it's not. What? Oh, these are chopsticks. Oh my gosh, I thought they were straws, they're chopsticks. That is so freaking cool. Oh my gosh, I love getting chopsticks when we um, get any kind of like Chinese food. This says the Scarlet Gang and this is the White Flowers. Oh, this is from uh, These Violent Delights. That's what this is inspired by. Oh, that is so freaking cool. I love that I have chopsticks now, so I don't have to get like the disposable ones when we go and get like our, you know, food and I want to use chopsticks. That is so freaking awesome. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I'm so freaking excited. That's so cool. Uh, yeah, I want to say that these are from, this is from the These Violence Delight. Um, they're inspired. So I love that. All right, the next thing I'm pulling out, I don't, I think this is, oh no, there's another thing in there. The next thing I'm pulling out is this. This is, history has its eyes on you. Ooh. Oh, it's a little ring pop socket. That is so cute. History has its eyes on you. I wonder what that's from, because I don't know what it's from this is really cute this is what it looks like right here i wonder what this is like what else this is i feel like there's more to this it's really fancy oh i'm so dumb i'm trying to take this out but this is literally like you stick this whole entire thing on your phone so it's like a card holder maybe like for your debit card but yeah i'm so stupid this litter, this whole thing is for the back of your phone. Obviously, like, it has, like, this sticker thing that I didn't even bother to look at. I'm over here trying to figure out, like, how to take this out. Like, thinking, like, this is too fancy just to be a background that holds this little ring. But no, it's literally one whole background for your phone. Or pop socket holder for your phone that you can use to hold other things, other items. I don't want to, I want to say cards, maybe? Yeah. That's so cute, and I love the little history has its eyes on you quote i think that's so cute i don't know what it comes from but it sounds really interesting so this is what that is that's so cool i love that all right so before the book i don't know what the book is um i think there's one more thing i think i've got one more thing in here yeah and i think it's like the pin that everybody gets so this is what the pin looks like oh what is it Oh, that is pretty. I see a spider, a spell book, a mirror. I don't know what that other symbol is. And a necklace. Okay, so this is like inspired by the book. And this was designed and collaborated with... Ice... I see designs. So that's really pretty. I don't own... Actually... I'm fixing to tell a lie. I was about to say I don't own any pins. I do own some pins that I got from my last job that are super like uh, inspiring, like little inspire, inspirable quotes. So to have something that's bookish is so freaking cool. Um, I don't know what to do. I want to put these like on a cute little like 
backpack if I ever get like a cute backpack to put these on I want to put all like my bookish pins on that I will get while I'm receiving these boxes so yeah that is so pretty I like that it's so it's just it's giving me very spooky vibes so very witchy magic spooky vibes is what I'm getting okay, so obviously the last thing in, in here is oh wait no there's one more thing I feel it's just sitting on the top of the box and it's this oh my gosh what is it oh I think this is what is this <laughs> it looks like a tapestry maybe oh a... is this a pillowcase oh my gosh I'm fixing to die <laughs> this is it's a freaking pillowcase oh my gosh oh my gosh you guys don't understand how freaking excited oh I get so freaking it says conquer your fear and you can conquer the world oh my gosh i feel like i'm literally about to cry you guys have no idea i freaking love whenever i see other like booktubers get like bookish uh pillowcases um bookish um book what are they? book sleeves blankets tapestries scarves anything like that i freaking get so sad because i want it and i would literally have to get book it, these bookish boxes to get them you guys Christ I want to cry so bad I don't know what this is from I want to say it's from these violence delights as well because obviously like the roses and the daggers but I could be completely wrong we will find out here in a minute where this come from comes from and I cannot wait to stuff a pillow in here and put it on my reading chair <laughs> oh my gosh like I I yeah I am so freaking <laughs> I don't know what to say oh my gosh I'm so excited oh my gosh I almost spoiled myself for the book because I had to put the box down to hang that up so yeah we're gonna go ahead and jump into the book I think that's the last thing we fill around first oh wait there's a spoiler card at the bottom I don't know what to do I don't know what to do what do I do what do I do uh I think this is uh this is the theme of the May box it's expect the unexpected flip uh for a sneak peek oh my gosh every box will include an official licensed uh lee bardugo item from our print uh, yeah so i know what's coming in next month's box and i'm low-key excited for it even though i've never read any of lee bardugo's books i have six of crows on my shelf um, that I do plan on reading sometime this year. I don't know when exactly though, um, but definitely want to try a Lee Bardugo book. But yeah, this is what May's um, theme will be. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. I'm so freaking like speeches from the last item. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I am just, I'm so freaking excited. <laughs> it's, it's, it feels so unreal. Literally feels so unreal. Okay. So I almost looked at the book again. So right now we're going to be pulling out the spoiler, the outcrate. I guess outcrate, um, what do they call this? Like where they talk about the stuff and all that. So we're not going to open that. I almost like I opened it, but I didn't see what was inside. So yeah, this is like the spoiler and I think like any exclusives or anything about the books, the book that's in here um, and other stuff. But we'll get to that because I really don't know what's in here and I'm just like literally just talking out my ass <laughs> so yeah we're gonna go ahead and put this to the side for right now so we can see what the book is i don't know if this book is gonna be upside down so here's what it looks like is it upside down probably oh no it's not oh my gosh which is steeped in gold oh my god that is that is stunning oh my gosh that is freaking gorgeous and then we get obviously like um a note from the author i believe yeah yeah that is going on my shelf that is i love personalized notes like this um i don't know they're very sentimental to me very like special so i will probably over time like just keep these like as i continue to get these boxes as an fyi I just I love little notes like this this is like something that is very very important to me when getting like 
anything from somebody i really love cute little notes like this so yeah this is definitely something i'll be keeping forever <laughs> so can we talk about the cover i don't know anything about this book um i'm really excited to read it it's so gorgeous um we should have a sign it should be signed by the author usually these books are always signed by the author let's see okay well mine's not signed it's totally fine this is what it looks like um that's pretty but oh my gosh let me put this box down real quick look at this a reversible dust jacket this is the first time me ever getting something like this let me just oh can we talk about how beautiful the women are in this print i am <laughs> so freaking like speechless i i don't i just yeah i don't know what to say it's really pretty i don't know if i want to keep it on this or flip it and have it on this because this is my first ever like i don't know this is my first ever reversible dust jacket with beautiful print on it that's so freaking gorgeous this is pretty too like the the gold and the black i love the way that looks together um i low-key thought that this oh it is signed i'm so dumb it's signed right here by the author i couldn't see because the gold against the black was kind of hard to tell but yeah it's signed by the author which is my first signed book from an author i believe that i can remember so yeah here's the book for the month of april from outcrate um this is witches steeped in gold by sinon smart Cianon. Cian 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 smart Cianon smart i don't know i don't think i'm saying that right but yeah this is really gorgeous i just i can't get over the black and golds the women on the cover are so freaking stunning i this sounds very very like witchy magical vibes and i am here for it i love the curls on this one her hair is so beautiful both of them they're both stunning they're gorgeous i am so excited i cannot wait to jump into this one and then now looking into the alcrate little so we have the author right here and i guess like an interview with her is what it... oh yeah interview with the author then we have alcrate's edition of the book and then we have um the regular edition um the regular definitely you can tell has some green in the background but for the most part it's not too far off from each other i definitely love the black and golds better than the black golds and green i definitely think that this is a better prettier edition that's my personal opinion um let's see what else uh then we just have stay connected it's just a bunch of information uh, that Alcrate has and then like witches steeped in gold try these great reads so it gives you like other books that if you like this book you might like these ones as well which is pretty cool the fable ground coffee um interview with the vendor so yeah um and then here we have like the april photo box the april box photo challenge um, that's hosted by Alcrate and it has their uh, information on where to follow them at which is so freaking neat and then also uh, it's time for another owl babble so I guess it's uh there's gonna be a live I believe with the author oh yeah on Instagram live May 28th at 12 p.m. PST or 3 p.m. EST so that's really neat I like that a lot uh I don't think I missed anything oh they even have like a Spotify playlist that's so freaking cool like I like that I don't listen to Spotify yeah <laughs> but that's neat that they have like a little um playlist I believe that's really cool I like that I really like that so the fable ground coffee crafted and deliciously indulged Cinnamon hazelnut coffee blend inspired by the magical composition and where dreams descend. 
quite a yummy way to stay awake and keep reading when night breaks once it releases this summer. So this was created by Fable Ground Coffee. The uh, phone wallet, the um, with our Hamilton inspired phone wallet designed by Lady Chubb Letters. Okay, and the throw pillow um, was inspired by Nevernight, which I've never read. Um, I don't know if I'll ever read that book, but that's what it's inspired by. And it was designed by KDP Letters. The uh, chopsticks, I was right, it's inspired by these Violent Delights. And they were designed by At Paper Backbones. So the reversible dust jacket on the book was uh, created by Tiara L. Hamindu. I don't know if I'm saying that right at all. And the enamel pin that's inspired by the book is designed by IC Design. So, and uh, the card game is exclusively created by Alcrate, uh, for or for Alcrate by Tess Middlevik. So that's everything that was in the box. Can I say that I am excited for everything that I got? Yes, I loved everything. My mind was completely blown. Um, my favorite thing I would have to say is the um, never, never night, never night inspired, right? I think that's what it was. My least favorite item I'm gonna have to say is the card game, only because I don't have anybody to play this with. I mean, I can try and play it with my family, but for the most part, it would probably be pointless if it's meant for bookworms because I'm the only one that reads in this household. So, yeah, I this would be my least favorite. I don't hate it, but it's just something that I know won't get a lot of use of because like I said I just don't have anybody here to play it with but still I'm glad I have something that's a bookish game maybe one day when I meet up with my bookish friends um we have a game to play so yeah that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed today's video um and enjoyed my first unboxing with my Alcrate box it was so surreal and I'm so freaking excited for next month's box I'm just yeah <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.